Welcome to this week's edition of the Bronco Weekly Sports Wrap. I'm Denzel Johnson. And I'm Nikki Gilday. We had over 3,500 alumni back on campus this weekend for Grand Reunion, and it was great to see some old faces. And thanks to everyone that came out to the red and white scrimmage. We're all looking forward to a very exciting upcoming season. Women's soccer had an exciting win over USF on Sunday. iBronco reporter Stevie Berman sat down with Katie Spidell to talk about the team's 1-0 double overtime victory. What's up, Bronco fans? I'm Stevie Berman. I'm here with Katie Spidell from the women's soccer team. Katie, you guys just came back from USF with an overtime win. Mm -hmm. You got the winning assist. You want to tell us a little about that? Yeah, it was such a good game. Uh, our team fought hard the whole game. USF is a really tough, uh, a tough team. Our whole league has a lot of good competition, and so every game's kind of a grind. Every game's a battle, and so um, we have so many players stepping up and playing so well, especially you know freshmen or or sophomores that you know are just stepping into a huge role, and I'm I'm really proud of them. But um, yeah, the game was was crazy, double overtime, the last few minutes of the game, and uh, Britt finished perfect. So you guys haven't played in Buckshaw in a while, and I know you guys got a game coming up this weekend. You mm -hmm. guys pretty excited for that? Yeah, we're really excited. We haven't been uh, at home, I think, in five games. So um, it's been fun to travel, especially for my senior year. I've had a lot of, a lot of fun um, traveling around, but I think we're definitely ready to play at home and get some support out. Speaking of your senior year, you guys uh, closing down the season. You looking forward to any any last games? Um, like I said before, our conference is really tough, so every game is um, is a battle. But I think BYU is a really fun atmosphere, especially we're playing at BYU, um, and they always get you know thousands of fans, and uh, it's a really fun atmosphere. So I'm really looking forward to that. Great, yeah. thanks. Mm -hmm. Women's soccer returns Sunday at 11 a.m. to test their nine and five record against Pacific. On the men's side, the team hosted USF on Sunday in Buckshaw and was able to come back and tie the game one-to-one -one after double overtime. And congrats to Matt Storyer on scoring his first goal of the season. That's right, Denzel. Volleyball was also home this weekend where they defeated Portland in three sets to one and then fell to Gonzaga in a tight five-set match. Ibronco made its way down to the court after the Portland victory to talk to Kirsten Mead and coach John Wallace about the match. <laughs> just didn't play our get best game tonight. I mean, that happens sometimes, but we really just had to battle through it and come together as a team to pull out that win. I, I wanted to get it in the court, make it a tough serve so that they didn't have a chance to side out easily. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Portland played great tonight, and um, but our girls battled. They, they were keeping us all off guard all night. I think they had the momentum all night, uh, which makes it even harder for us, but I'm really proud of our girls, how they responded in game four after going down and coming back. So. You know, it's a great win for us. We'll take any win in this conference right now. And you know, all year long after after a loss, our team has responded extremely well the next night. And tonight, I you know, I don't know if we didn't play well or they played great. Either way, our girls don't like how they feel right now. They're going to come out on fire tomorrow night. The team hits the road this week and travels down to Southern California to take on Pepperdine on Thursday and LMU on Saturday. Good luck to the team. Men's water polo had a successful weekend on the road. The team beat conference opponent Cal Baptist 9-8 and then topped Redlands 7-6. They'll now test their 9-6 record against Air Force on Saturday. Women's golf grabbed second place at the Fresno State Classic last week. How did the men's team do, Denzel? Well, the men's golf team captured the Utah Invitational Championship last week. They scored a tournament low 7-under, 11 shots ahead of the runner-up Seattle. I Bronco reporter Madison Dutra talked with Tyler Curtin about the team's successful showing. Hi Broncos, this is Madison Dutra here with Tyler Curtin on the golf team. Tyler, you and your team just got back from a huge win in Utah. Can you tell us a little bit about day-to-day -day throughout that tournament? Yeah, so we just went out there the first day, played 36 holes, got off to a pretty good start. We were winning by four going into the last day. We all performed pretty well individually. And then our goal the last day was to go out there and just keep the pedal down and uh, go out there and win it. And that's what we did. We all played really well. We built on each other. Yeah, and, that's uh, awesome. And we ended up winning by 11, so that was good. Congratulations. And golf is a very individual sport, but you are on a team as well. What's mm -hmm. that like, balancing the two? Yeah, it's definitely different from most sports. Um, you're not playing with your teammates, so that's kind of weird. You kind of just have to trust that they're doing well and just focus on your own game. So when you go up to the tee box, are you focusing on making a hole-in-one? Are you just trying to put up your best shot? Um, 
I guess I'm going in there trying to make a hole in one, just trying to do the best I can. And rumor has it you've made more than one hole in one in the past. Yeah, I've made four. Can you tell us about the most recent one? Um, yeah, most recent one was in January at Court of All, 200 yards. It was a six iron. Wow, and you guys are going there tomorrow, right? Today, Traveling? this afternoon. Okay. Yeah, just for some practice. Awesome. Well, good luck. Thank you. Thanks for coming on, Tyler. Yep, thank you. The men look forward to the Bill Cullum Invitational on October 20th. Good luck to the team. The men's tennis team competed well in their first fall competition. All four players came away with victories in their tournaments. The women's team also had a notable performance at the ITA Regionals this weekend. Delphine Ruvewa defeated the number 11 seed in three sets, advancing to the quarterfinals of the event. The cross-country teams have been preparing for their home meet this upcoming weekend at Balance Park in Sunnyvale. Our Bronco had a chance to catch up with Ami and Nash to talk about the season thus far. The men's program is doing really well. They have a lot of upperclassmen who are running really fast times in their workouts and it's showing in their races. The women's team this year we had um, seven incoming freshmen and one transfer, uh, fr sophomore, and so we have a really young team, but everyone's doing relevant well practices in our workouts and we're excited to see how this weekend goes at the Bronco Invite. We really enjoy the Bronco Invite. Every year we have a lot of alumni come out and a good fan base from Santa Clara students as well as our families. Um, it's a fun course because it's really fast at Baylands in Sunnyvale. That's where we get to do our workouts and practice so we know the course and we're really familiar with it and that helps in the race because we've practiced and we know where, where we should be running, what paces, what times throughout the race. You can support the Santa Clara runners this Saturday starting at 9 a.m. for the men and 9.45 for the women. Softball begins its fall schedule this Saturday in San Jose. They take on the Spartans at noon and Monterey Bay at 2. Well, that's going to do it for this week's edition of the Bronco Weekly Sports Wrap. Go Broncos!